Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to talk about my five uh, types of baits that I like to use when it comes to bass fishing. After seeing other videos out there, I decided to make this video because uh, I realized that my uh, type of lures that I decide to use are a little bit different than what others uh, may use. You know, I haven't seen any videos, doesn't mean they don't exist, just haven't seen them with the uh, lures that I prefer to use when it comes to bass fishing. So, probably the most productive bait and number one on my list is going to be a Senko. This is a Gary Yamamoto Senko. Uh, red and black flake, watermelon green. So it's watermelon, red and black flake is the color. Uh, a Senko is probably my number one bait. It's definitely my confidence bait. I've caught tons and tons of bass on this. There's a lot of things that you can do with this bait. You can rig it with a weightless Texas rig or you can put a uh, bullet weight on there to make it a weighted Texas rig. You can wacky rig the bait you could also take this wacky rig and put a nail weight in the end to make a Nico rig, which gives it a little bit of different presentation for the fish. Uh, you can also use a Ned rig. You could, you know, bite your uh, Senko in half, or rip it, cut it, chew it, you know, whatever. I'm just kidding. That's not too bad. It's kind of salty, but uh, Ned rig. It's a uh, basically just a one sixteenth out. Uh, jig head with a, a basically like a, a weed guard on it just to keep it from getting hung up and the water it presents like this so um, I've actually caught quite a few fish on this one I couldn't get them to bite on anything else so definitely a good lineup. Uh, the next bait I'd like to throw is a square bill crankbait. Um, one that I'm recently trying to have liked so far in the past is either 1.5 or 2.5 KVD uh, square bill crankbait. This one is called natural pumpkin seed, so it looks kind of like a, a pumpkin seed, uh, panfish, perch, bluegill, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is a good one to use to, to shake up some bass. Uh, another one I like to use is a square bill crane bait. It's like a, a, red, or a red and black like craw color. Um, so, you know, I'd switch it up between those two. Uh, another one of my favorites is a lipless crane bait. Um, I throw this lipless crankbait a lot, a half ounce or quarter ounce, depending on what the fish would like, but it's a craw color. Uh, no preference in the brand, just a craw colored, you know, red craw colored uh, lipless crankbait. Seems to do pretty well uh, with bass. Um, if that's not working, sometimes I'll switch up to either half ounce or quarter ounce, like a sexy shad color, like a shad wrap lipless crankbait, something with bright colors. Kind of see if that will entice them. Uh, another one that I use a lot is. Uh, and you guys have seen in my videos is a uh, chatterbait. Um, this is a pumpkin seed color, uh, but I, I, the one I like to throw the best is this uh, chartreuse and white uh, 3 8 ounce uh, Z-Man original chatterbait with a trailer. Uh, I probably throw this pretty often. It's going to be one of my first couple of baits to try to see if I can get a reaction strike from the fish to see kind of what they're doing. Um, Another bait that I like to use, uh, not necessarily year round, but especially when they're spawning or uh, on their beds at this time of year, is I like to use, and I haven't seen a lot of people use this, very many at all, but I've caught some of my biggest fish and maybe some of my best fish on this right here. This is a skirted crappie jig. This is a green chartreuse color. It doesn't have to be color specific, but a lot of times I've found when you use jigs like this uh, for bedding bass, uh, for whatever reason, this seems to get a reaction when nothing else will. Uh, I've spent sometimes hours and hours trying to catch bass on their bed with different baits and it hasn't worked and I've switched to this and got them within the second or third try. So, uh, something to think about, smaller crappie jigs, I switch those pretty often. Sometimes I use like a chartreuse grub with this uh, jig head. Uh, just something small like that, sometimes that's all it takes to really switch up the, uh, to get those big bass uh, to bite. So. Those are the lures that I like to use. Hope you guys learned some new ones. Maybe some of those have been around and you already use those, but hopefully you got some ideas of some different baits that can work for you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.